It's May of 2019, and we are on Sherman Hill in Wyoming to witness Union Pacific Big Boy number 4014 on its first excursion run since being restored to operating condition. This steam special, along with UP-844, is on its way to Ogden, Utah, to commemorate the completion of the first transcontinental railroad at Promontory Summit in 1869. Continuing west, the 4014 rounds a curve as it approaches Red Desert, near milepost 732. History is made in the pre-dawn dark at Green River, Wyoming, as a Union Pacific big boy pauses for a crew change for the first time in over 60 years. The previous two days of running has proved the 4014 is breaking in nicely, so the decision is made to let it work a little harder. Instead of aiding the steam engines, the diesel is set to heavy dynamics, or brake 8, to give Big Boy a little something more to pull against. With a modern EMD SD70 ACE weighing in at over 400,000 pounds, rated at 4,500 horsepower, and able to apply 106,000 pounds of braking effort to the rail, the 4014 picked up speed, even while climbing grades, like the diesel wasn't even there. As one member of the UP steam crew put it, that big boy is a powerful locomotive.
Just before sunrise, Big Boy 4014 announces its arrival to Granger with a giant plume of steam in the still morning air. It's no wonder so many songs and poems were written about the steam locomotive. For many photographers on hand this morning, this scene alone was worth the entire trip. Snow fences and sage-covered hillsides set the stage for the 4014 at Leroy as the special heads for Evanston. In 2014, the entire community of Evanston turned out to welcome the 4014 on its road to restoration. Five years later, they gather again to see it return under steam. Set up next to the siding gives us an up close and personal view of Big Boy's running gear. UP 844 also deserves some screen time. Although people have come to see the 4014, the FEF 3 Class Northern with its 80 inch drivers is something to behold. Where Big Boy was built for power, 
844 was built for speed and passenger service. And those big driving wheels don't have to turn over too many times to cover a mile. Engine and tender weigh in at 454 tons, so it isn't exactly a light engine, even if it seems light on its feet. With the 4014 safely in the siding at Evanston, engineer Ed Dickens complies with a lockout tagout safety procedure. Keys identifying each member of the steam crew are attached to the blue safety flag while maintenance is being done on the locomotives. The equipment cannot be coupled to or moved until the safety flag is removed, and it cannot be removed until each employee has retrieved his key. With everything in place, routine maintenance begins on the 4014 and 844. Standing next to a big boy, one can really appreciate its size. Engine and tender measure 132 feet, 9 and 7 eighths inches from coupler to coupler. Total weight is 1.2 million pounds. Without its tender, the big boy weighs a hefty 762,000 pounds. Like the other 24 big boys, the 4014 burned coal, but was successfully converted to number five oil like the 844 and 3985. To help meet the deadline for the 150 celebration at Ogden, the 4014 actually used 3985's tender since it was already set up for oil. It also had the benefit of a greater water capacity than 4014's tender. The name Big Boy with a Victory V has been chalked onto the smoke box, just like what was scrawled onto the original 4000 by an unknown worker at Alco in 1941. Originally, the UP was going to call it the Wasatch type, but Big Boy stuck and a legend was born. It's a cold and wet morning as the 4014 prepares to depart Evanston. Today is the final leg of the westbound journey to Ogden, and two flags have been added to the pilot, Old Glory and the Utah State flag. Today, the 4014 tackles the Wasatch Mountains, the very grade it was made for.
A hardy group of photographers brave the elements and catch a piece of history. The return of the big boy to the summit at Wasatch. A clear signal beckons a 4014 over the cold, rainy Wasatch Mountains of northern Utah and into the upper reaches of Echo Canyon. Deep within the canyon, just east of the station at Echo, the steam special glides down the gentle grade that parallels both Highway 30 and nearby 80. As a result, traffic was backed up for an estimated six miles a testament to Big Boy's popularity, even with the general public. in Utah was the western end of Big Boy territory, and during the 150 celebration, it was the central hub of all activity. City streets in the vicinity of Union Station were shut down to handle the large crowds and festivities. While the cause for the celebration was the 150th anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike at Promontory, the Big Boy was hands down the star of the show. UP Chairman Lance Fritz calls engineer and steam program manager Ed Dickens on the radio, and the 4014 makes its debut for the enthusiastic crowd. Just about an hour's drive north of Ogden, rough cuts and fills tell the story of an old railroad grade that once penetrated the remote countryside and changed the history of America and the world forever. These faint scars are remnants of the first transcontinental railroad, which was completed here at Promontory, Utah on May 10, 1869. 150 years later, the site is designated as a national park, and we are in time for a reenactment of that historic event. 
The Union Pacific was represented by Engine 119, while Central Pacific, building east from Sacramento, had the Jupiter. These classic 440 steam locomotives are replicas of the originals and look sharp. Weighing in at only 60 tons apiece, they are considerably smaller than either the Big Boy or the 844. But at this moment in history, they were state of the art. The reenactment is a class act and a fun way to learn a piece of history. From promontory to the country, bulletin, B O N E done. With the ceremonies over, the 4014 waits patiently in the pre dawn dark to begin its eastward return trip to Cheyenne. Dawn breaks cool and clear over Mount Ogden, the prominent feature high above the lush valley near Mountain Green. Day one of the return trip would see the steam special heading for Evanston, sporting a new 12-car consist, including the Experience the Union Pacific rail car, Big Boy heads east through Peterson. These scenes are from Return of the Big Boy, which is available on DVD, high definition Blu-ray, and digital download by logging on to 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below. We are adding new content weekly, so if you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. From all of us at 7idea Productions, thanks for watching.